Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are rebuilding the carburettors, putting them back together again and renewing a load of the parts, giving them a good clean. First up, I'm giving the carburetor bodies a good clean. Any parts that I'm using in this video, I'm gonna list in the description below, along with the part numbers, and I'll also put a little picture up here, along with its part number and description. The first part that goes in is the slow jet. This gets screwed into the middle hole in the bottom of the carburetor. Next I'm putting on the air jets. These go in the top of the carburetor in the vacuum chamber. There are two jets and these are both numbered, which identifies the size of the orifice. The larger number is a primary air jet. In my case, it's a 120. This goes in the hole closest to the air intake runner. The smaller one, the secondary air jet, in my case a 60, this goes into the hole furthest away from the air intake runner. Next, the air jet cover goes on along with the gasket, which came in the packing set. Now I'm giving all of the remaining little parts good clean. Next, the idle mixture screw goes in with the new O-ring. This is from the packing set again. This gets screwed in to about two and a half turns out from tight. Two and a half to three turns. Next, the needle jet and main nozzle go in, followed by the primary and secondary main jets. If you need new jets, this repair kit is a great option. Next, the valve float set gets assembled. A new O-ring gets put on the orifice, along with the little plastic baskets, and it's all held in place with a screw and a retainer. Next, the float valve clip goes on. This is hung from the bottom of the float. The retaining pin gets pushed through and holds the floats in place. Now the main jets and retainer go on with new O-rings before the float bowl gets screwed down. Here the vacuum piston goes in with a spring and gasket. The piston has a keyway so it only goes in one way. The piston cylinder is then secured on with a new O-ring. Now just to do this three more times. I was missing a choke connector, so I decided I'd fabricate one from a bolt. This connector has two splines that are offset by 90 degrees. I'm using an angle grinder to take off most of the material and then refining it with an iron file. After all the carbs are built and I've fabricated a new connector for the chokes, we can put the carbs together. First the throttles are connected, ensuring to include the link spring, and then the two chokes are connected using the choke connector. The two chokes can then be screwed to the airbox section. This is then repeated for the final two carbs. Next, the two air box sections can be joined together, ensuring to put a new gasket o-ring around it. Here I'm adding the fuel lines to connect each carburetor to the air box. Now 
And finally, the throttle and choke linkage goes on and is all clipped together. Thanks for watching everybody, that's the carburettors put together. So next episode we'll be getting the engine back in the frame, We've got some work to do on the fuel tank, hopefully we'll get that done and we may even get these back on the bike. So if you've liked what I've done today please hit the like button, um, if you're not subscribed already please consider subscribing, hit the notification button if you want to know when I release a new video and take care of yourselves.